What is up guys and welcome back. So now you can see that I have added some content right here and you can see that everything is coming right here. All the posts are coming here but you need to shift to iOS and this post has a featured video, iOS 11 bug fixes and the dealer amount is the best teacher on Udemy. So this is under people reviews, this is under the category of Apple, this is under the category of blogging tips and this is under the category of Apple. So if I just open up the category of Apple, you're, you're going to see how this is gonna look okay so we can edit it completely do not worry about it but now let's go to um, this right here that says um, all these uh, pages right coming here now let's create these pages okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go to the dashboard right here and let's create the pages so because this um, extra gives you some of the pre-made layouts for the pages that you can build so let's go to all pages right here and let's see that which page we're gonna create so I'm gonna just go ahead and directly just um, hit this trash because we don't want the sample page right here and I'm gonna go to add new and let's add a new page so you can see here in the template we have the default template I'm gonna go here and I need to show all the authors that my um, website has so you can create this blog post for multiple authors like different people can come to my website and different people can write post about it so we will be adding that uh, first of all what I have to do I have to just enter a add a page and that will be authors okay and then here you can add some dummy content and then you have to go ahead and hit publish so you can see um, this page is going to be published let's wait till this is published and now let's go ahead and let's have a look at this page so you can see if I just click here I'll be redirected to this and this is how it is so I have the authors right here this is the widget that is coming and all the people who have added their post are coming here so let's just go ahead let's add a new user here and then we're gonna work so I'm gonna add a new user and we're, we're, what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna enter the username so username is going to be uh, Tanzband um his email address is going to be um, this one first name no mm, man's redance okay now um, let's go to show password so the password that I want him to be should be um, Q W E R T Y. So this is the password that I have entered right here. Confirm use of weak password. Okay, um, let's just hide it and let's change the password. So I'm gonna add the password to be this one. Okay, um, and then what, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to, because this user is the author, so he can post anything about uh, this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit add user, okay? So you can see uh, this user has been added. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go quickly go and add the user from them. So I'm gonna go open up a uh, incognito window. You can press Control Shift N to use the incognito window. And I'm just gonna go to s4.completewpcourse.com to see my blog, okay? What I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna log in without wasting any time. WP-admin, okay? Let's just hit this and we'll be taken to the admin page where we have to log in. So let's just go ahead. Um, this is Tan's man, okay? And the password is this. Let's just go ahead and let's hit login. And so here we go. You can see um, this is like this, okay? Um, we have uh, all these things coming right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit post right here and I'm gonna add a new post. I'm just gonna go to add new right here and you can see that here in this content area, I can post. So I can post about um, something like, Udemy is the best online teaching platform. Okay, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna paste uh, some content right here. Okay, and then here, uh, I'm gonna select it to be people reviews but because I cannot add the category. I don't have the access to add a category. So I'm gonna go down and then here I can add the summary. So I can add any summary right here um, in this post. We talk all about the Udemy. Okay, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna add a featured image as well. I'm gonna come here to the featured image. I'm gonna go to select file and I'm gonna grab a file. So um, the file is going to be this one. Okay, let this be loaded. 
So this is being uploaded. I'm just going to go to set featured image after this is done. So let's wait. Here we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit set featured image. So you can see this image will be coming right here. So I'm going to go to publish right now. And you can see that this post will be published right then. So here we go. I'm going to go to view post right here and let's have a look at our website. So you can see Udemy is the best teaching platform and this is coming and everything is coming. I can rate it as well and the rating will be applied here. So let's just go ahead and let's have a look at our website. So this is how the website is looking. You can see this post is already published. This, these are the posts that are coming right here. I have all popular posts, all uh, top rated posts. And then I, if I just go to authors right here, then you're going to see um, that I have these right here. So he's the author and he has one single post. Okay. This is how it is looking. I, since I already have added the social links, that is why they are also coming. So you can pretty well create these type of pages. I'm going to go to this guy right here and let's try to add a new uh, post as well. Oh, sorry, page. I'm going to go to all pages. And let's choose another theme right now. So let's go to the default instead of default template. I'm going to go to uh, the blog feed. So how this blog feed is going to look is going to show all the blog posts that you have published. So I'm going to go to um, blog feed. Okay. Or you can just name it as all post or something like that. So I'm going to go to um, blog feed. Okay, um, then let's go down and we have the standard one. So it's going to select all the categories um, because I want to add all the categories right here and the post per page. So the post per page is going to be, um, it's going to show six posts per page and the sort ordering is going to be descending so that it's going to show the most recent on the top. And there we go. And then we have the don't show the author because we don't want to show turn the display of each post author on or off. So we can also show the author if you want to. And then we have show categories, show featured image. So show rating, show excerpt, show date and the date format and everything is also coming right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit paste uh, publish right now. And let's just go ahead and let's have a look at our page, uh, our page without wasting any time. So here we go. You can see um, this is how the page is looking. Okay, um, everything is looking totally cool. Udemy is the best online teaching platform. Read more. And this is coming right here. And this is coming right here. And everything is coming right here. So then on these on the post where we have added the rating, the ratings are also being applied there. So you can see how this is looking. Okay. Um, and then we have this read more. Okay. Um, so this is showing six posts. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I just come here and I just edit this page, Okay, and then I add um, that it should show some like two posts per page. So I know it will look a bit much funny. Um, you should minimum choose uh, 10 posts to show at least, uh, but two posts are, I know, very um, not good. But um, let's just come here and let's test it basically. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit view page right now. And you can see this, this is the pagination that is coming right here. And it is showing all the blog posts that I have right now. So you can pretty well make this your homepage if you want to make it homepage, because some people do not like so much on the blog feed on her, on their homepage. So if you want it to be normal, you can also be not normal. And then I'll also show you that how can you basically delete everything from here? How can you make it look like this? How can you add a featured slider right here above and everything is included it so don't worry okay um so now you can see that we're totally done with this i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna add a new page right here and let's add a new page okay so right now I'm going to go to the contact page. So I'm going to come here and in the contact, you can add the contact form title and the send email to, and then you have to enter the contact form API key. You have to enter your Google API key to, for the map uh, address. So you guys already know about it because we have used the Divi already. So I'm going to go to contact right here. And then here in, I have to enter the contact form title and the send email to. So send uh, the emails would be sent to this. Uh, the map pin address is this. So I don't want to add any of the map. Okay, I'm going to come here to the contact form title and then this is going to be contact form. So let's just go ahead and let's just hit publish. And you can see this is going to be published. You can also use the Divi 
builder to this page um, if you do not want to go ahead. So I'm just going to go to um, this guy right here and let's have a look at this page. So how this page is going to look. Okay, um, here we go. You can see this is how it is. The con name, email, subject, and send. And everything is coming. So if you do not want it to appear, you can just come here. You can just delete it. You can just delete it from here. Okay, and you can use the Divi Builder itself. So you can insert anything. You can insert columns. You can insert one column, two columns. So I'm, if I want to insert one column, you can see that I have the column inserted and I can insert modules. So I can insert accordion, audio, bar counters, and everything. And you guys already know about all of these. So we don't have to add any. Okay, you can see we can add person, number, counter, map post navigation, post slider, post title, and everything that we want to add. So we don't have to um, add them again. We don't, we, we, I just wanted to show you that how it's going to look. So I'm just going to go ahead and I don't want to update it because um, the contact form is looking totally okay. I'm just going to show you basically that how these pages are created. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to page and let's create another page that we have right now. So I'm going to go to a default template and instead I want to go with the full width. So you guys already know about the full width. Okay. And then we have the member login. So you can create a member login page if you want to create um, a page where people can basically um, sign into your website. So you can just create a page and then you can enter a login. So it's going to be like this. So if I just publish it and then you can um, create it, create an account here and then you can tell all your people who are your subscriber or your users where people can basically log into your site. So if I just open up top in the incognito tab, you can see it says you are already logged in. I'm already logged in. So if I just uh, log myself out and then I'm going to see how it's going to look. So I'm just going to go to this page right here and let's go to lock in okay and here we go this is how it is looking we have the username with password and then we have the login page and then we can log ourselves in so we can create this page as well if you want to now let's go back let's go to um, add new and let's add a new page as well Okay, and now here I'm going to add a timeline because this is my favorite and I really like it. So I'm going to go to timeline right here. I'm going to name this page as timeline. And this is the new feature. I've seen this feature only on um, this uh, extra theme, not anywhere. I just really like it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit publish right now and this page is going to be published. So let's go ahead and let's see this page. Okay. Here we go. This is how it is looking. So it is showing uh, these December posts that when these posts were were published. So if I just go to Hello World right here and then I um, just basically edit this post. OK, and then I want to change the post of the published date. So I'm going to go to this right here and I'm going to change uh, the published date to be um, 12th December. I'm going to choose November and I'm going to hit update right now. OK, and then I go back. And then I go to the timeline right here. Then you can see um, this post is coming right here in the November. So you can see if I just go to the November right here, this November will be selected. And I can even um, just click here. And I can see this is down. So if I, if I click here, it's going to take me down to the November. So it is just the Facebook style. Like um, if you open up anyone's profile, it's going to show like that. So this is how this timeline works. You can also make this post your main page if you want to, because this is also really helpful. You can also make the blog feed. I just basically like the blog feed most. If I want to create a blog, I would definitely go with this team because this team gives you so much of things that you can add. Okay. So now we're totally done with this. Okay. We are to a bit of done with these pages. Okay. If you guys already know about the portfolio, so if you want to add a portfolio, you can do add it. You guys already know. And then we have the sitemap. So let's add a sitemap. So sitemap is going to basically get all the links from your website. Okay. And then it's going to um, add them. So let's just go ahead. Let's just select all and let's add the site now. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit publish. So it's going to get, get all the links to your website and then it's going to add those in the, in the page. So I'm going to go to um, view page right here. And then here you will see how all the links are coming. So you can see recent post archives and the authors and the categories, the pages and the tags as well. So since we haven't added any of the tag, that is why this is not appearing. And so you can see that we already have got a basic idea of how, uh, 
this team works and you can pretty well decide that this team is looking pretty amazing we haven't designed this team and still this team is looking so amazing so if i just go down i want to add the rating i can also add the rating and let's go ahead and let's go to extra right now. So you can see how amazing this is. And in the top rated, you can see the top rated post are coming. So this is fully rated fight and this is four star rated. So this is how they are coming. So they're looking so amazing. So thanks a lot guys for watching this. And in the next video, we'll be moving on with more functionalities. So stay tuned and bye-bye.